Hello, this is Opus Magnum, or oh, welcome back I should say, because we are on the 7th episode. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, Alright, we were supposed to be doing very Dark Trap before the last play a game of Sigma's Garden to continue. We have a total of 5 wins, going for another 5 more to continue this little um, thing over here. So let's see. Right, first things first, I always want to check the position of the metals. We have lead, which is very far in actually, wow. So how do I get, how do I even get to that? I gotta remove a bunch of stuff. Like I have to remove this life, I think. I have to remove all of those. Actually, how do I remove those without removing this silver? Because I can't remove silver until I remove everything before it. Right, because with this in place, right, I will always be unable to remove the fire and therefore the earth and therefore everything else around it. Unless I remove all of these first. Makes sense though. That That is still a problem, I think. Oh, I, I do need to remove this one. I think that's the only thing I need to remove before getting access to that. Okay, so I need to find a death to match it with, which won't be this one. It probably could be this one. I think that's the only one that's... Oh, it could be that one. Well, no, that one's also hidden behind a quicksilver, which I can't use. So I've got to remove this salt somehow. Okay, I think we'll start with the basics. Do that. Maybe remove this. Like, maybe remove, like, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff here, though. If I remove this... I can match those. Uh, I don't. I think. I think this might be a bad idea because this gives me access to this, gives me access to this, which gives me access to this, and we finally get the first one. Well, we're kind of stuck though, because I don't know where to go from here. It's like, hmm. I, I guess I could match both of those, which gives me access to more stuff. A lot of those, which is good. Which one do I go for? I think I go for this one, this unlocks a fire. Uh, 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 I don't know, okay. Where's the next one? There, so I should probably use that. Right? Probably use assault? Yes. So I need to remove this, which makes sense. Let's remove that. Remove the salt now, which I can use on anything basically. So let's use it on this, gives me that, that works. This one I can find another one over here to use. Uh, I can use this salt on another air. Oh, but the issue is how. Oh, that's fine, I can use this first. Oh, am I stuck now? Yeah, I think I'm stuck. This one has to go with air, it just doesn't work otherwise. Yeah. Because I'd be then stuck uh, with you know, two of these which don't match. Alright, well that sucks. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm not thinking very hard on what to do. The lead is over there. It is surrounded by a lot of fire. <laughs> Whoa. So why not I start? I need to remove the fire somehow, right? So let's start with removing something that isn't fire first. So we get the fires to go here. Those fires can match. Waters can match. Life here can match with death. That gives us our first lead. Next is that, which opens up after we grab one of those. It probably has to be a fire. So which means we need to open this one. Um, we don't have to. Removing this would unlock this fire anyway. So maybe we should work on this fire. Or a salt. We could also use a salt. Which I think we have to use. Okay, none of these really open up much. But I guess that does a lot more. Uh, okay, we do this and then we do that. Seems good. Now we can match that with that. Next one is this, which is fine. We just need to use the water. That works. Next up is this, which we just need another quicksilver for, which we can use this quicksilver. Yeah, and then we can take this one to unlock the uh, this guy. Salt, who needs to go with another green, which is fine. 
Uh, this should unlock more stuff. Which it does, that works. Now we can match those. Uh, I think we're on a good way to victory. Oh, um, okay, yes, this works. Okay, done. I, I almost stopped myself there because that, that could have been bad, I think. Right, six wins, awesome. Okay, let's continue with whatever we're trying to do. Very dark thread. This is a bit much, I feel as though I'm being suited up by a grenadier. Stay still or I won't be able to get your measurements properly. Must you really outfit me this way? The more you, light you absorb, the easier it will be for you to blend to the shadows. I can already do that. You seem to underestimate my abilities. I want to leave I want to leave nothing to chance. Okay. Very dark thread. Infinite length product. Cool. Okay. So what do we have here? We have what appears to be copper. Copper oh no, iron. Okay. So we gotta form iron. And some salts, which is coming from this water over here. So we do need calcifiers, we definitely do need bonds. The bonds are all straight though, so I'm pretty sure we can just do this. In fact, is this a good setup? Because it overlaps directly. Well, why is it good? That's because... Well, it's good because each of these objects are their own segment. Yeah, we can, cu we can cut this object into four lengths, right? Like... This is a repeating set of four each, but each four you have is also a repeating set of two. So you have one salt, one iron, one salt, one iron. And so in fact, probably what I need to do is build the two halves separately and then bring them together. Like... So... Maybe. Maybe. Right, so let's see, uh, we also need the upgrader, whatever it's called. And the uh, Quicksilver will just do its thing, so... Let's have... Let's have, say, two arms that are in charge of just bringing Quicksilver in. Uh, like this. And so you bring Quicksilver in one at a time. Cool. We do need this now. We are going to produce two units at once, so... We will need four quicksilvers to produce two irons, right? Because each lead takes two sil quicksilvers to turn to iron. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. If I, for example, used an arm to bring you in, could I have another arm bring you out separately? Maybe. Hmm, doesn't need to be faster though. So I guess I have to duplicate this and say produce another one that will take it again. It does need to be slightly slower though, because I think this is way too fast. Right? Yeah, it's way, way too fast. Alright, so in fact. Each of you need to be too slow, I think. No, um... And I don't know. Oh, I mean, that looks like a decent... That looks like a decent... Actually, that actually does look very decent. Okay. And so, the first one, we can, we can actually duplicate this entire set of lists to produce two... Two irons, right? Because this should produce two irons per cycle. And each irons produced will be used in a different part of the final product. Cool. And so now we only need to make the two halves. So let's start with... Let's just start with... Uh, you do this, right? Let's start with something that looks like this. So, uh, so something that looks like this into calcifier and then repeat. Uh, no, repeat as in you do it later. 
Hmm. I mean, that, that feels good. It's a bit slow, obviously. That does feel okay, though. Like, that actually feels good. A good first step. It does use, like, six whole arms already. And all of them are, like, really short, but whatever. Alright, so we gotta use one... You gotta use one arm to bring it into position first. So let's say we have this happening. Uh, Where to grab? Probably do something like this. Is this slow or is this fast? Fast. So let's push it off a bit to make it a bit slower. That looks good. It is in the wrong direction though. So what if I rotated you from the other way around? Uh, still a bit early. Wait, oh, you need to be holding the other one. You need to be holding this. Does this clash? No, it doesn't. It's still the wrong direction. How do I fix this? I flip upwards, right? Which means everything that I did has to now be reversed to be underneath. Uh, okay, fine. I'll do this for you. Okay. Now I gotta flip all of this to be underneath as well. So this... Uh, this... This... Were you here? Yeah, so now you need to be here. This... This... Wait, no, this is wrong. Hold on. Wait, is this right? I can't tell. Oh well, we'll just reprogram the entire thing. Uh, you're actually holding the wrong thing, so you gotta do... Oh, okay. Hold on, you gotta be grabbing this one. So maybe something like this. Uh, I gotta rotate everything in the other direction. Uh, hold on, this is gonna get a bit messy, but I hope this is fine. Uh, wrong direction again. So can I just flip you guys? Okay, that seems good. Okay, what do I do with you now? It's still the wrong direction. What the heck? What, what did I do wrong? Do I? Is it is it okay if I flip it from here instead? Uh, it's always the wrong direction. So is, this, is the chirality just wrong? Do I need to move one of these uh, items? I probably do, right? Okay. Fine. Let's do it like this then. So now uh, arms 5 and 6 have to have to work like this. Oh, actually no, this is bad because you put it here. Which means that which means that the machine below it has to be shifted to the right a bit. Which, uh, you know, breaks this one. But I think it's fine. I think we can fix that. Can we fix that? Yeah, we probably can by rotating this entire thing. There we go. Resolved. It clashes though. That's why, that's why I put it on the other side. Crap. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. What's the... <sighs> I don't know how to fix that though. What if I... I mean, what if I just did a pivot then? Maybe. I mean, that's half of it, right? Maybe I could fix. Maybe I could do something about that. It is on the. It is on the. It is on the very bad side, though. I'm, I think making it longer makes it even worse because it's now further away. It does give us some amount of prote protection. Okay. What if I did it like this then? Hmm. This looks better because I can now rotate like this. Which gives us this half on the right side. Right side? 
Well, whichever side it gives it to us on seems good. Hmm. Okay. So now let's actually try doing something to fix this thing. So what happens after this? You must be moved over to... You must be moved over. So let's say we have an arm over here that moves along a track to move you over. I'll give it three, just to be generous a bit. So what does this look like? Oh, wrong arm, oopsies. Uh, what if I have you guy? what if I have you grab earlier, is that fine? Or do you break? You break. Alright, you gotta be later a bit then. That seems fine. The only issue is it's very... Uh, okay. I need to alter your... Uh, your placement. Also feels okay, but again, in the wrong place. What do I push you over? Now I need this to be over here, which is really tough. How would I make that happen? I have zero idea how to make that happen. I wanna test something though. Hmm. Uh Okay, can I can I please just test this? Jeez, what is going on? It rotates there, which is kinda bad. It's kinda far away, honestly. It is a little bit far away. I need I need, I, I need the I need the object to be here then, so that a pivot would a pivot in the other direction will allow me to make a bond like that. Right here. Yeah, like this. I I would need something to move the object over. So Hmm, is a rotation required? No, it is not required. Uh, this probably crashes, but we'll see how it goes. It doesn't crash. Wow, what if I did not rotate you? Do you crash? It does. Okay, so let's let's try a pivot plus a pivot in the opposite direction. Since we realize that a pivot doesn't crash, right? It's a it's more like a scoop. Yeah, and then a pivot back. Ooh, okay. So that does form some sort of of product, right? Which I can then shift over to the end point, like this, by moving you twice. Oh, but the problem is now you're too long. Okay, I guess I need another arm to do the work. So let's start with, uh, okay, let's remove the plus first. Let's start with, because you are here, I wish for you to grab one of those arms before you move over. So the best one is probably this arm over here, which you need to move twice then. So when do you grab?
Uh, probably here? I'm just testing it out. Okay. So this should be everything we need. Oh, it needs an extra bond. Whoops. Oh, right. I forgot. We need to bond the, the pieces together as well, of course. Why did I forget that? Uh, okay. That's not too tough. I could just do this. And it should be fine. Can convert you to moving once only. So you move it over to here. Oh, you do need to, you do still need to move it twice. Okay. You move it twice so that the object becomes here. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't shift you over. Hey. It forms a nice beat as well. Okay. It's cool. We already got the machine. Let's just smash you. Right here, where the Critelli can lie very nicely. Question, what if I... Can I slap you down? No, there's space, there's stuff over there. Okay, whatever. I'm happy enough with this. Actually, you know what? I think I should pivot you in the other direction to save exactly one area. Wait, is this still wrong? Or is this still wrong? I need to pivot you back. Uh, which direction is correct? This way? This way. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? What's going on here? Yeah, why are you pivoting that direction? I don't remember how directions work. Wait, 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 wait. what arm is that? Isn't that arm 9? Oh, I'm pivot. I'm switching arm 8. Arm 8 is wrong. Hold on, I forget what direction 8 is supposed to be, but 9 is supposed to be flipped. It's 8, right? No, it is now wrong. Hold on. Alright, there you go. This should work. Oh, that's why it doesn't work. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Have it your way. I guess I shouldn't have fixed it. If it wasn't broke, I shouldn't have fixed it. Nice. Alright, 61 cycles. I think that's decent. You know, it is a bit unsatisfying that every time it stops, it doesn't overlap very well. So what if I shifted you one further? Do you now take longer? I think you might. Yeah, you do take exactly one longer. And that's pretty obvious why, it's because I, sh I should just not shift you at all. In fact, you know what? What if I rotate you? <laughs> what if D rotates? Then the bond can't actually happen, so that's not good. The bond between those things can't actually happen. That's unfortunate, I guess. Yep, alright, whatever. I'll take my 61 cycles. I think that's fast enough. Yeah, you can actually see it just growing and growing and growing. Nice, alright. Very cool. It's quite a striking look, don't you think? I am a... I'm a convert. I never thought I'd reach the heights of fashion like this. Oh, you are wearing a, like a hoodie. Cool. We should go into business as cloth... Uh, clothier... Cl clothiers? I can hardly do much more alchemy in any case. We use the last of our quicksilver making that. But that's a wonderful idea. I'll find us uh but that's a wonderful idea. I find us more looming and sewing supplies. Get us a mannequin too. Consider it done. Perfect. Sweet. The lead ore heist. Right, because we're looking for lead ore. So it's time for me to go. Good luck, Nils. You know I'll succeed when, I'll, uh, when a barge of lead ore flows down the river toward you. I'll send some instructions detailing where to send my share of the gold later. You won't be returning here? No, I'm afraid I can't stay. So you do trust us, finally. A funny thing about that. When I first found you two hiding out in this abandoned shop, my first thought was to cut you both down as you slept and sell your personal effects. Oh my, I'm glad you didn't. I was just kidding. I would have collected only a pittance for your mediocre clothes anyway. How touching. I expect more touching story couldn't be written. 
Safe travels, we'll be here for the time being should you want to find us. I'm sure we'll run to each other again before long. Foreboding. Or for... Ah, I forgot what it's called. Uh... Yeah, alright. So, we're on to a new chapter now. Decoded message. Oh my goodness, look at all these uh, alchemical symbols. They're quite capable, well, dare I say, the best of the... Ah, I can't read. Of this type I've seen, in fact. Trustworthiness, they'll likely stick to the deal built around shared uh, aims. But they're not the types to develop blind loyalty. Why not meet them yourself? They're holed up in an abandoned shop along the river. Nils. Oh, so Nils got us a thing, right? And we're just meeting the people who... Something, something, something. Clara Soria. Hi, are you the person who... I don't know. You sure you won't get in trouble hanging out in the bad part of town with a rogue alchemist? My parents don't know. I spend a lot of time in the observatory and they always assume I'm there. Not as if they would check for themselves. It's a shame you got, never got to use Ventassin's observatory when you visited. I was tasked with fixing it right afterwards. That's okay, I still had a nice time. Even though you were with Frederick? Excuse me, I loved Frederick. <laughs> you what? He was kind of me, we're the only one who's ever been. It was really nice spending time with him. It's true that kindness is a ray trait in the house air. I wish I could have protected him. He didn't deserve the world he was born into. None of us do. So we're meeting a new character here. Uh, you are from House Soria, one of the, the daughter, I expect. Cool. Alright, new level already. Lethargic separation. So this is raw lead ore. You should have uh, seen when we had cases and cases of gin around here. Why? To isolate individual elements from the alcohol? Yes, exactly. How resourceful of you. That's a sharp deduction, Clara. I've always been interested in alchemy, but my mother says it's too dangerous for me to pursue. She thinks I'd explode the place. Alchemy is dangerous not in the way your mother thinks. Fair enough. It is in fact dangerous, so... Oh, this is the reagent! We... Oh, so we unbond. Okay. So we produce a lot of uh, unbonding. Uh... Okay. How do we do this? Let's start by grabbing you here and rotating. Ah, maybe a longer arm would do the trick. And then pivot. How many times do I want you to pivot? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe 4 is better if I just rotated you the right way. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, only 4 is required. The funny thing is that uh, that's not actually going to be very useful because... Yeah, I do need another thing because otherwise you just form a ring around it and then uh, moving this piece now uh, breaks it. So let's do this, right? Let's see. Uh, let's separate the 5 pivots so that I can... I don't know, so that I can... Uh, this is not the right thing anyway, it's like this. So that I can uh, individually, uh, you know, place your objects in your uh, endpoints. So, after this, uh, one pivot should give you salt, and let's say salt goes here. So one pivot afterwards is a grab, a rotate, and then a return. Does this work? No, it's so rotating in the wrong direction, of course. That's the wrong arm, but even so, does this work? It does. Cool. Then I can repeat that every four cycles. Maybe? Maybe this works somehow. Uh, okay. Let's see. Pivot. 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 Okay. Ah, the bond breaks immediately. Hmm. Hmm. Without this final line over here, without this initial line over here. Okay, what if I now rotated you a bit? Does this make it 
better. No, there is a bond there. Uh, okay, so we need some specialized instructions here. This won't just continue working. I suppose if I brought another arm in here to do the work then... Uh, what would happen? Okay, no rotation. You can return now. Oh, you do still need a, a single pivot. Hmm... Okay, I mean that might be doable if I just flip the cycles a bit. I made the one that goes upwards second. Oh, okay, of course it will flip the order in which you remove stuff. But, uh, hopefully... No, there is still a clash. Uh. Okay, what if I did something like this instead? Another clash? How about this? I'm just guessing checking here. Another clash, there's always a clash somewhere. Does this also clash? Do they always clash, maybe? No, because this doesn't clash for some reason. Hmm. Maybe this clashes? No. But it does produce some issues though. I don't want to make you a six arm. The reason why is because there is a final piece here which I can just as quickly just rotate and release. So if I shifted everything one over, I can set up a a release and re-grab here. Uh like this. And it doesn't seem very important right now. But it will uh it will take place, yeah, here. And in fact maybe I should make the release happen first. Hmm, never mind. The pivot has to occur earlier, that's why. Hmm, okay. Okay, what about this? What do I do? Right, see, because... Hmm. I mean, this one we can just very easily, you know, separate like this. An arm can... An arm can do this and return you to your original position. That's good. What do I do with the long one, though? Because the long one is an issue. Right, what if I did something like that? What would that look like? Would that clash? Yes. But I have an idea. I could... I could make your cycle slightly later. The I could make the bottom one slightly later, which allows the top one to do something like this. So you move up first and then you rotate. Ah, oh, you're still slow. Wow. Uh, okay. This is the one I wanted to release first. But apparently that doesn't work. So are you guys both going to be slightly later still? What? Did I, st did I mess this up? Oh, I did. What is that? Why is that an issue? Did I not change my cycles right? Ah, uh, wait, what? So you start off being the correct cycle, but then... 
But then when you next Oh it rotates the it rotates the reagent right here. Oh uh, So why don't I release uh, why don't I rotate one more time and then release? Pivot one time and release. Because I don't need to return to your original position, right? Yes, and now it's it's in the correct form again. Wait, what? Why don't you release your Oh, you grab it while you let go. That is so dumb. Can I make you any later? This arm? Your arm 3. Yes, I can make you slightly later. Do you think that's better? N what? <laughs> what? That's that's insane. Wait, hold on. I feel like we. I feel like I've to scrap the idea of this being a six arm. Go back to being a single arm. Uh, you guys can all be shifted one forward for that reason. I want I want something like this to to uh, you know grab this object and rotate it at the same time that this is going forward, which would prevent this from moving. Now the only issue is at this point at this point it needs to move the lethargy over, but how? I can't even have it be on a track. I can't make you any longer or any shorter because that would cause collisions. So I was like, what if I had a track here and I had 7 and 3 move at the same time? No, because 3 needs to grab immediately after 7 starts moving. So 3 has no time to come back down. Hmm, okay. That's fine, what if I shifted you down here? That might be actually that might be better for everyone actually. Wait, hold on. Yeah, why why is that? That's better for everyone. Everyone takes shorter arms. Yeah, I moved it here. Even six no longer needs to be on the uh track. So I can remove the track instruction. Hopefully this still works. Hey, it appears to. Crap, it doesn't. It's uh, six is slow. Yeah, six. Ah, uh, okay. What if I had six just, you know, be kind of dumb and move on a track like this? Yeah, I guess that's the only. That's the easiest way to solve that issue, right? Just move it along the track as opposed to. Maybe that still breaks though. Oh, never mind. That that works. Cool, okay. Finally I can push you onto one of these Critellis over here. Let's do that. There you go. And do I want to rotate you? Does it look nice if I did it like this? Maybe, yeah. I think this looks nicer if you push this from uh, left to right. It feels more streamlined based on how humans read. Nice, that is 70 cycles, awesome. Now obviously I could make this really 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 fast by simply pulling out all six of these at once and having them separately uh, you know do stuff. But I'm happy enough with this. I could make it 69 if I made this slightly faster but oh well. It sounds really cool too. Could I make this better in some way? Nah, alright, I'm done. I'm not doing any improvements on this. I just stared at it to admire it, but... Alright, good enough. I think my previous design was 111 cycles, so yes, really streamlined on this one. 
Let's keep going. Extracting the essence of lead from ore, that's something no alchemist has had to do for centuries. Solving these ancient problems for yourself must be fascinating though. Maybe. In a way, you're reinventing the field in your own. That's one way to look at it. For my part, I keep thinking I've traveled back in in time. Oh no. What fun though, retracing the origins of alchemy. Interesting. Oh, we got four of these to go. Uh, how long I've been doing this? 40 minutes. I think that is probably enough to call it an episode. Another one of these could take way, way longer. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed those two puzzles, plus Sigma's Garden, plus a bit of more lore. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll come back the next episode to do more of this. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.